green Greek fig. Today's video, I'm at my younger brother's house, and he's a big fruit and animal guy as well. And taking a look at his garden here, he's got all sorts of garden beds and <clears throat> greenhouse. He's got his chicken coop that he's built back here. So he's he's a bigger farmer than I am. He's also got um, pigeons. These are Modena pigeons. Pretty crazy, right? These are his breeding pairs. And those are his youngsters. And these are all cages that he built. So he's a pretty crafty young guy. It's my little brother. So Modena pigeons are a lot like king pigeons. And um, you look at these guys, they're kind of shaped like chickens almost. Real nice, round, robust, real majestic looking pigeons come in all colors and patterns and Modena pigeons are a real big deal around uh, here in the US and uh, Middle East and Asia you've got breeders all over the place pretty cool animals so my brother is actually part of the association and he does their uh, I guess their, their newsletter as well as breed them I saw this the other day, this thing is huge. Mine is not this big, I think you get more sun than I do. Yeah. Actually, mine hit a stall for some reason. Some of them are splitting. So this is the green Greek fig. Um, had a chance to try it the other day. And I thought the taste was really spectacular. Um, real similar to the Smith fig, except uh, maybe even a little bit more punch. And it's called green Greek, green Greek, but the color is this kind of dark purpley green. So what I want to do today is compared to my smith fig and now that I look at the leaf structure it's definitely different well I don't know we'll see I'll compare it to what I have at home so my brother is also a big fig collector and he has a few varieties that I don't um, and we try to split it so that he has some varieties I have some varieties and we don't overlap too much because he lives right behind me and I can come over anytime I want. And he can do likewise. Okay, so let's find out which one's ripe. I already got permission from him to go ahead and pick one off. This guy feels good. 
pick this off without trying to do too much damage to the tree. Let's steal a leaf too. That way we can compare it with my Smith fig at home. Okay, so for today, I pulled a green Greek from my brother's tree and a, another protected smith fig from my tree. And initially, I was like, man, these two figs taste so similar because I tasted a green Greek the other day. I thought it was really good. Um, had a lot of flavor, a lot of punch, almost a buttery taste. And so I was thinking buttery, kind of like umami, kind of like smith. I was like, could they be the same? And now that uh, I have them next to each other, really not. So this is a smith fig. This is a green greek. Just wash them so that's why you see that little bit of moisture on it. So um, yeah let's, let's see how much they weigh. Okay let's start with the green greek. So that is 25 grams not huge. Smith fig, not much bigger, 28 grams. Let's cut these guys open. Oh, nice. That looks really good. Oh, this is beautiful, too. Get a close up of that. Green Greek. Look at that. It's really red, really almost purpley, like a, a Cote d'Am. Beautiful. Smith fig. You can tell by the outer skin here on the Smith fig, it's thicker, kind of reminiscent of the Black Madeira. This is a little bit thinner. Um, this has been on the tree, I guess, uh, a couple days over optimal ripeness. So. Um, should be super sweet. Okay, so definitely time for a taste test. Looking forward to eating this one again. Um, I had one yesterday, like I said, it was really good. Let's start with Smith, just because we know what it tastes like and it's gonna be my baseline for flavor. Oh yeah, oh my goodness. So good, so good. I mean, oh man, that was awesome. So I had the Smith fig protected in these organza bags. You know, I found my, my fig band. It was a blue jay. And uh, he was eating all my Smith figs. I wasn't too happy about it. I was able to save two in these organza bags. And uh, tell you what, a good ripe Smith fig is just awesome. Oh man, that was good. Let's try the uh, green Greek from my brother's tree. It's a good looking fig. Oh, way different flavor. Hmm. It's jammy, but with raspberry tones. Really sweet too. I mean, it, they're both delicious figs. Two very different figs, obviously. I'm gonna have to do an air layer from that tree for sure, because um, it gives the Smith fig a run for its money. Uh, and this one was a little bit overly ripe. 
which is good. But uh, the one I had the other day was perfectly ripe, super flavorful, had that nice buttery taste to it and mouthfeel. Uh, both very Smith fit, uh, very good figs um, to have. So, yeah, Smith fig, great fig, gotta have it. Green Greek, not a whole lot of these around um, that I've seen, anyways, but a very good fig in its own right. I love it. These two will definitely add to my collection. I already have this one. I'm gonna add this one to my collection and. Uh, Hopefully get a nice big tree from it. Okay. Thanks for watching.